Good morning, good morning, good morning, image bearers. Come on in. This is your morning wake up call, and this is your tears to break through moment. And I am Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher under the spiritual covering of Apostle Felicia Anderson of the House of Healing International. Family, we are breaking through together. So come on in. Welcome to our Monday morning uh, Wallace meditation. Okay. Um, and of course, again, this is your morning wake up call and your tears to break through moment. We're doing all of that here. Okay. And then of course we will also be doing the, we write the word. So we wear the word, we write the word, we live the word. Um, and we just, we're, this is a word-based ministry. Okay. So come on in. This morning, I just want to talk to you about boundaries, say boundaries, say, I will set boundaries. I will, I will, well, first we want to do right by people. Sometimes when we say we're setting boundaries, we use that as an excuse to do wrong, okay, by people. But no, we want to do right by people. So say, I will do right by people, but I will also learn how to set boundaries. I will do right by people, but I will also learn how to set boundaries. So how do we do that? That's what we're going to be talking about today. So come on in and let's get started. I'm going to start out by reading our uh, morning post from our private Facebook community. If you are not already in our group, you need to be. We're private, but we're not exclusive. And so definitely come on over, Tears to Breakthrough Ministries conference, uh, private Facebook community, and join us. You will be empowered and inspired every day through pay, prayer, um, <clears throat> inspirational videos, um, a word, you know, um, you know, we're just always coming forth, supporting each other and praying for each other and, um, you know, sharing a good, positive, godly word every day. Okay. So each morning I, you know, during my meditation time, my prayer and meditation time, I always pray and ask God, what word does he have for me, um, for you, for the day? And he always gives me a prophetic word or, you know, some type of a declaration to share with you. And so that's what I do. And then I post it in the group. So I'm going to read that to you right now. Okay. Um, and this is for my kings and queens. Say, say, this is for the kings and the queens. So even though a lot of times it seems like I'm appealing to the women, but I'm also appealing to the men because we need you. We need our brothers. Amen. We need you um, just as much as you need us. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and read that. It says, I'm at a place in my life where Peace is my priority. So just say this with me, say, and just declare the creeds with me, say, I am at a place in my life where peace is my priority. I deliberately avoid certain people to protect my emotional and spiritual state. Boundaries are an act of self-love. Now let's just Declare that again. Say, I declare and decree that I'm at a place in my life where peace is my priority. I deliberately, I deliberately, that means I'm intentional with this thing. I deliberately avoid certain people to protect my emotional and spiritual state. Boundaries are an act of self-love. Boundaries are an act of self-love. Now, let me explain. Like I said in the beginning of the broadcast, we're going to also declare this and decree this. We know when we declare a thing and decree a thing, that thing shall be established. So say, let's say this again. I declare and decree that I will do right by people, but I will also learn how to set boundaries. Many times we don't do right by people, right? And then on the other hand, we don't know how to set boundaries. So some people are just so giving, they give and 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 people take advantage of them. And then now you're sitting in the corner somewhere with your feelings hurt, wondering, well, you know, what was me? When, it, when is it going to be my turn? When you, in fact, yes, you want to help people, but not to the point where you're totally uh, depleted 
and you are, it's, it's just totally disturbing your whole um, life. You know, it's consuming you because they're just mistreating you and they're using you and mis mis misusing you and taking advantage of your kindness because some people will do that. But so that's one part of the spectrum. But then on the other hand, we don't want to um, totally ignore people and not help people. Right? When we have, when we have, when God, I believe that when God gives us an opportunity to help someone, he puts certain people in our life for a season and for a reason. And I always pray, one of my prayers that I pray daily is Lord, whoever you put in my path today, you know, lead me Holy Spirit and how I should help them. So I already, you know, set my day up in a way where I already know God's going to send somebody my way to help them. Now, that, there's many ways to help somebody. You know, sometimes I, God, the Holy Spirit might lead me to help somebody by praying for them. Sometimes the Holy Spirit may lead me to help someone financially. Sometimes the Holy Spirit may lead me to help somebody. They may need a ride, you know. So that's why we have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. Say, I need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. We need to allow the voice of the Holy Spirit to um, be louder than the voice of everyone else, right? And it takes practice, but we but but we need to practice. We need to be intentional in that. So therefore, I don't I, I I do set boundaries because I understand that some people like to take advantage. So those people, and then you can pray about that as well. Pray, ask God. Okay, okay, listen, show me those people who um who are there to take advantage of me to who are there to harm me and 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 those who you know and also show me. When the season, when their season is up, because sometimes we're still helping people that God has already released you from, you know, and they're so so now they're at a place where they're taking advantage of your kindness, right? They take it, they're taking your kindness for weakness, and so they, I will do right by people, but I will also learn how to set boundaries, and so it's really a practice to balance that thing out. So. Again, let's go back and read our morning post. I'm going to read it one more time, and then we're going to get right into the We Write the Word, because that's going to also help give us wisdom as well in treating people right. I'm at a place in my life where peace is my priority. I will deliberately avoid certain people to protect my emotional and spiritual state. Boundaries are an act of self-love boundaries are an act of self-love boundaries are an act of self-love but us setting boundaries should not be an excuse for not helping people say say me setting boundaries should not be my excuse for not helping somebody because sometimes we use that as an excuse well i'm just setting boundaries right so you know who you are and you know which applies to you okay so, but um, but it's important to have balance and it's important to be in tune with the Holy Spirit and allow Holy Spirit to lead you so that you will know, um, you know, how long you should um, uh, help someone because we don't, we don't want to help people to the point where we enable them, right? You know, many times we'll help people and help people and help people, um, but if it's the same people and they're not learning, right? lessons and so they keep repeating the same cycles well you're really not helping them in fact you're you're actually enabling them so again that help it helps when we're in prayer when we're in tune with the leading of the holy spirit and allow the holy spirit to lead you um into who you should be helping and how you should be helping them and how long you should be helping them okay so with that said we're going to go right into our what we write the word so again we write the word and basically if you go into our private Facebook community. Every month I post a, a scripture schedule and all you have to do is each day, look at it and, and reference that scripture, meditate on it, write it out, we journal it out. Um, so grab your journals, okay? Uh, today we are on day 18, we're in Proverbs 3, 27 through 32. Day 18, Proverbs 3, uh, verses 27 through 32 and we know that this is um Solomon is dropping some wisdom um here 
And um, like, I love reading Proverbs because you learn a lot from reading Proverbs, right? You learn a lot. And so I wanna encourage you to apply this wisdom to your life um, as you need it, right? Um, the objective is, is to make this word work in your situation. So you know what your situation is, you know what your circumstances are. Um, and so and God wants us to make wise decisions. Say, God wants me, point to yourself, to make wise decisions. And that's why we have the word of God, amen. So Solomon says, you know, when you apply this wisdom, then, um, you know, he gives, actually gives you a list of what you will get if you apply this wisdom, but then, also, our verse today, when you get down to um, verse 27, then he also gives you a glimpse of, you know, um, what's going to happen when you don't use wisdom, right? Um, so get your heart right towards those people um, who God places in your life. Begin to pray and ask God, you know, how you should help them, who you should help, and how, how long of a season you should help them. Okay, and then at the end of the day, every day, we're going to do right by people, but we're also going to set boundaries because we're not going to allow people to just use us and abuse us. Okay, because that's a whole nother thing. All right. So now let's go and let's journal. And so when we're, as we're journaling, we're going to ask ourselves four questions. One, what does this passage mean? Two, what does this passage say? Three, how does the passage apply to your life? You're gonna make it personal. And what will I apply today from this passage? Okay, so again, we are day 18, where we are in, in Proverbs 3, verse 27 through 32. So I've actually already, most of us have already read the um, verses that come before <laughs> um, three, uh, uh, 27 through 32. So that will help you to understand what we're reading. So it kind of sounds funny if you're just joining us and I just go right into verse 27. So I'm gonna actually start at verse 18 and work my way down to 27. So maybe that will help you a little bit, okay? Um, and we're talking about wisdom. Okay, so we're talking about wisdom, okay? She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. And when you apply wisdom to your life, you will be blessed, right? By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, to watery depths were divided and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, do not. And now when he says my son, he's talking about um, his actual sons, but he's, and he's also talking about us. And then he's also talking about, you know, well, we're gonna focus on us. Okay, so yeah, you're in this, you're included in this sons, okay? My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. I'm saying that to you today and I'm saying that to me. Do, put your name right there where it says, son, put your name right there. I'm putting my name right there, Pastor Carol in the purpose push. Do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you an ornament to grace your neck. Verse 23 says, then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. Verse 24 says, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. How many of you want your sleep to be sweet? As you apply this wisdom to your life, your everyday life, your, when you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. That means you're not going to be, you know, restless 
and can't sleep because somebody took advantage of you because you, you've given too much to the point where they take, they've abused your kindness, right? Because you neglected to set boundaries. Or on the flip side of that, you know, God sent somebody your way to help them and you ignored them. You didn't help them because you were making them suffer for the last person that took advantage of you. So now you're not, you're not resting. You're, you can't sleep at night. Use this wisdom and apply this wisdom. And when you do, verse 24 says, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Verse 25 says, how, so it says, have no fear of sudden disaster. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. Mm, that's so good, right? Verse 26, for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Now we're down to where our scripture of the day is, our verses of the day, um, Proverbs 3, verse 27 through 32. It says, do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. So say that with me. I will not withhold good from those whom it is due when it is in my power to act. So in other words, when God sends somebody your way to help, help them, right? Help them. If it's in your power to help them, help them, right? Verse 28 says, do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you when you already have it with you. Do not say, come on now and see, we're in a pandemic. So there's a lot of people that need help. How many people have you turned away simply because you were hurt because some other people took advantage of you simply because you did not know how to set boundaries, right? You did not know how to set boundaries. So people took advantage of you. Now you're going to make everybody pay for it. No, you can't do that. Do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you when you already have it with you. Verse 29 says, do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. So many times when we have a lot, we, we did not set boundaries in the past. And so we have allowed people to take advantage of us. Well, now we our hearts are hardened. And so now when God sends us somebody to help or to assist, we don't want to help them because we're like, well, listen, I don't trust people. So then we have all these, we develop all these issues and all these strongholds. But well, I declare and decree that we're releasing you today from all of those issues and all of those strongholds that are holding you back. Say, I will do right by people. I will do right by people. I declare and decree that I will do right by people, but I will also learn how to set boundaries, amen? So verse 30 says, do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. Don't make everybody suffer for, for the few that did you harm, right? Verse 31 says, do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways for the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked. I'm sorry, I, I, I passed. I was supposed to stop at verse 32. So verse 32 says, for the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. I'm just going to go ahead and go all, all the way down to 35. Why not, right? Um, so verse 34 says, he mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. Verse 35 says, the wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. Let's stop acting like a fool, okay? Let's learn how to set boundaries. But even in, in the process of us learning how to set boundaries, we're gonna do right by people. We're gonna treat people right. We're not gonna make everybody suffer for what a few people have done 
to us. Okay? See, I'm not going to make everybody suffer for what a few people have done, right? And so begin to journal this scripture out. Again, today's verses are, um, I just like to go through the whole thing, but you, you might want to do that as well. But we're actually targeting today, um, Proverbs 3, verse 27 to 34. But listen, go through the whole thing, verse by verse, and see how that word applies to you and journal it out and start praying and asking God to show you the people that, that he would like for you to help. But then also show you the people that you need to set boundaries with. Because some people are intentional with taking advantage of people. Some people live that way. They just love taking advantage. And so it's important that we operate in wisdom, okay, um, in everything we do. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, we're just going to take this time and pray. We're just going to breathe. And while I'm praying, I would like for you to just really be still, be still and know that God is God. Be still and begin to pray as well. Begin to pray and, and, and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you right into all truth. And so, Father God, we thank you this morning. We give you glory this morning. We give you praise this morning. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we thank you for your word today, Lord God. We thank you uh, that your word is uh, is life to us, Lord God. We thank you that, that your word is flawless according to uh, um, Proverbs 30, Lord. We thank you, God, that your word is true, that your word is pure. And so we can live by your word, Lord God. Hallelujah. We can stand on your word because we know that your word is true. And so for today, Lord God, I ask that you will just um, open our hearts and open our minds to uh, uh, be obedient to your word and, and to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lead us into all truth. Show us who we should today. Show us who we should um, set boundaries to today. Help us to learn how to set boundaries, but help us not to harden our hearts so that when you send someone our way to help, that we shun them and put them off. Open up our hearts and minds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep us, keep, keep us in perfect peace, Lord God, as we keep our minds stayed on you. Hallelujah. Right now, Lord God, we're just going to be quiet. We're going to be still as you show us those people who you would like for us to help today, but also show us those people who have taken advantage and their intention is to take advantage and we need to set boundaries with them. Doesn't mean that we're not gonna help them, but we're gonna set boundaries. We're gonna give timelines of how long we're gonna help them. We're gonna set boundaries. So right now as we're gonna quiet ourselves, we're gonna quiet our minds and we wanna hear from you, Holy Spirit, for if we can hear from you, then we'll know what to do. We don't wanna go on our own, we don't wanna go alone. Let your spirit guide, let your love abide within us. Hallelujah. We're gonna take three deep breaths and as we breathe in, we're gonna breathe in everything, every promise of God, right? And we're gonna breathe out anything that is negative, that doesn't look like God, that doesn't sound like God. We're gonna breathe that out, amen. So let's just take three deep breaths. One. Breathe in your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Two, breathe into your nose. Breathe out through your mouth one more time. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. Hallelujah. Father God, we declare and decree that we will do right by people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we will also learn how to set boundaries. Help us to set boundaries today. Help us to learn how to set boundaries today, Lord God. Help us to not lose sleep, Lord God, because we've done people wrong or we've mistreated people or we've taken advantage of people or or because we've made somebody pay that didn't deserve our bad treatment simply because somebody else has done us wrong, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord God, to sleep in peace. Thank you, Lord God. When, when we lie down, you will we will not be afraid. And, and, and when we lie down, our sleep will be sweet tonight because we're doing right by people. But then we're also doing right by ourselves. We are setting boundaries. So we will sleep tonight. 
sleep will be sweet. My sleep will be sweet. No more sleepless nights because I'm not doing right by people. No more sleepless nights because we're allowing people to treat us wrong, to use us and abuse us and take advantage of us. No more sleepless nights. We're going to do right by people. We're going to also learn how to set boundaries. And so sometimes you might have to say to someone, yes, I'm, I'm willing to help you if you can help them. If you can help them, help them. Right. But then you have to give them a timeline. You know, I know we're in a pandemic. So a lot of people are actually moving in with people, with family members or friends. And, and you might say, listen, you can move in um, on this date, but then I'm going to have give you a timeline. And, and it's OK to say, you know, but by this time, I need you to, you know, work some things out. That's OK. It's OK to set boundaries, you know. Um, but again, it comes from wisdom. It, it, it's, as long as you're in tune with God and the Holy Spirit and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you, you know you're going to do right. You know you're going to do right. You're going to be okay. But if you're operating in your own understanding, your chances are you're going to do wrong. You're going to do wrong by those people. You're going to you're not going to be do do right by those people that God is sending your way, or do right by your loved ones. Um, but definitely do not allow people to take advantage of you because that's going to leave you in, in not such a good place. Okay, so I pray that this has helped you um, meditate on this proverb, meditate on it, really take it in, really begin to see yourself in this proverb. And then not only that, but begin to ask the Holy Spirit to show you people that maybe you have turned away that you should not have turned away or show you people that you have not turned away, but maybe you should have turned away because they're taking advantage. Right. Um, and just go through every verse and um, just make it your own and, and apply it to your life, right? Remember God's word is flawless. This is our flawless meditation. It's a flawless meditation. Proverbs 30 tells us, 30, Proverbs 30 and five tells us that every word of God is flawless. He is a, a shield to those that take refuge in him. So just make sure you take refuge in God. You know, when you're confused about a thing, you know, take refuge in God, right? Get into his word, get into the presence of God, right? And allow him to lead you in that area, right? You know, the Holy Spirit is there to guide you. Say the Holy Spirit is there to lead me and guide, guide me, right? Amen. So listen, so that's all I have. Thank you for joining me today for our flawless meditation um, and our morning wake up call and our tears to break through moment. Um, yeah, image bearers, you are an image bearer. Say, I am an image bearer made in the image and the likeness of God. Therefore, I don't look like what I've been through. I did. I don't look like what I've been through. So yes, some people have done me wrong. They have mistreated me. They have used me and abused me. But, but God, but I don't look like that. And I'm not going to allow that to consume me. I'm not going to allow my past hurts to consume me. Those people who have hurt me in the past, I'm not going to make everybody else suffer for, for, for the mistreatment that I've received from a small group of people. Right? Because most people are not out set, setting out to take advantage of you. Um, yeah. So. You be encouraged and not discouraged. And I declare and decree, I pray above all things that you will prosper, that you will be in health, even as your soul prospers in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for joining me today. I will see you next time. God bless you. Have a blessed and marvelous day. Don't forget to set those boundaries, but do right by people. I will set boundaries, but I will do right by people. Amen. God bless family.